laugh like hell. Let's have some fun doing it. That's a big part of it. But it's just don't waste, it's just don't waste any time or energy. It's all about what we can collect that each and every day. It's time for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones inside the Academy Sports and Outdoor Studios here at the Star in Frisco, joined by Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy inside Ford Center. A short week for the Cowboys after the Tuesday night game in Baltimore, second straight road game against an AFC North opponent as they head to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals, a noon kickoff on uh, Sunday. And uh, coach, as, as you uh, go with the short week this week for your players, uh, what kind of mentality do you think they have as you enter the fourth quarter of this season now? Well, I mean, our, our time is now. So, I mean, I, we all understand, um, you know, where we are. Uh, we're, we're definitely coming off of a very disappointing loss against Baltimore. So, I mean, the urgency and the attention to detail has to be heightened uh, Sunday in, in Cincinnati. I mean, it, this is a game we need to go win. Um, and, and, you know, and, and, and with that, you know, just just to make sure that you know we still keep giving ourselves a chance, and uh, you know I look for our guys to do that. And of course, one of the big storylines going into this game, uh, the return of Andy Dalton, who had uh, such uh, great success uh, leading the Bengals his first five years in the NFL uh, to the playoffs. What is it about Andy and uh, your short time you've had the uh, opportunity to work with him that has stood out the most about Andy? Well, I think staying the obvious, obviously, very talented quarterback, very talented football player. But what I, what I enjoy about Andy is, is his consistency. I mean, he's, he's the same, same player every day, you know, as far as his, his work, work habits and, and the, way, the way he, you know, attacks the quarterback position, you know, very consistent and efficient in, in his operation, you know, his ability to throw the football. He's extremely accurate. But, you know, probably most importantly is, is his personality. And he's just, he's just a great guy to be around. Uh, he's, you know, he's, he's fun in the meetings and, uh, he just brings a, you know, just 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 a normalcy to to our quarterback room, and uh, he does a great job. It's it's been a blessing having him here. Of course, he has a great professionalism about him. How much has he been able to grow? Has his offense been able to grow over the course of the last ten days or so? Just the fact you've been able to be out on the practice field and get some reps, it kind of showed in the game against Baltimore as he was able to get the football to uh, wide receivers for 21 uh, catches by wide receivers in that game. Well, I think we all recognize, uh, you know, how important it is to have game reps. There's nothing like the game reps, and you can see Andy getting more and more comfortable with the ability to take all the starter reps throughout the week of practice. And, and, and I think Baltimore, in my opinion, was was clearly probably his best performance of the year. You know, uh, you look at that game against Baltimore, and uh, and uh, obviously there were the negatives, losing the game, and so forth. But some positives to take from that on the offensive side of the football, not only throwing the football, but also running the football as the offensive line seemed to come together a little bit last week. Yeah, definitely. I, I thought we had balance uh, throughout the game. You know, we had the two two minute drills that uh, you know pushed the pass attempts up there, I think to 48, but it was definitely what I was looking for as far as the, you know, the ratio between run and pass. So um, I, I really liked the game that uh, Kellen called and, and I thought Andy did a great job just, you know, distributing the football and uh, that was definitely reflected in, you know, in the rush attempts and the completions. Uh, what do you see in this Cincinnati defense? This is a Bengals defense that has kept them in games this season. In fact, just the last couple of weeks, only one touchdown allowed in the uh, last two games. And in particular, I think the safety Jesse Bates is playing at a pretty high level. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're, they're competitive and you, you can see that they're definitely, uh, in, you know, in, you know, playing in your second year of the system. Uh, you can see a lot of carryover to, you know, I'll probably go back to the Minnesota game. We'll see some carryover there uh, as far as the similarity for us, uh, you know, how we're approaching it and outlook schematically. So uh, this will be a great test for us. You know, one uh, guy that uh, had three catches in the game for you uh, in Baltimore on Tuesday night that uh, we haven't talked a lot about, Noah Brown. Uh, Noah made the most of his opportunity in that game. This is a guy with a lot of, uh, a lot of athletic potential and special teams has, uh, has been a player for you as as well oh, definitely I mean you just love the way you know Noah goes about it uh, he's so competitive uh, so combative uh, you can see that you know come not only comes on special teams and on offense you can see it every day at practice I mean he, he's the one well, you know the one guy in that receiver group he has you know a ton of personality and you know definitely what he went through here in the past with his injuries uh, I just can't say enough about him and he's um, you know he's an excellent attribute to our football team 
All right, we're just getting started on this edition of the Mike McCarthy Show. Up next, it's David Moore of the Dallas Morning News. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, is brought to you by AT&T, Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer, built for Texas, built for you. The University of North Texas, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. And by Reliant, an NRG company. This segment is brought to you by the Dallas Morning News. Nobody does sports like Sports Day. Your home for complete Dallas Cowboys coverage. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy, as the Cowboys get set to take on the Cincinnati Bengals this week. And I am now joined by David Moore of the Dallas Morning News inside the SportsDayDFW.com studios at his home. <laughs> and, uh, David, let's talk about this Cowboys team entering the fourth quarter of this season and what kind of expectations should we have for this team going into the fourth quarter? Yeah, 75% of the season is done. Uh, the schedule is completed. And and at this stage, focusing on a, a realistic path to the division title, uh, I don't think does this team any good and isn't realistic at the moment. Um, so you look back and, and you break down the season. And, and in each of the succeeding quarters, this team has gone one and three in each of them. Uh, so right there, improvement would be a split minimum in, in these final two final four games um uh, you want to start seeing some improvement uh you know defensively you haven't gotten the improvement uh you would like to see on the defensive side of the ball uh, especially in the run game you want more consistency there um so i think there are some mileposts that um you know mike mccarthy and his coaching staff will, will point to here and, and to me the key in it whenever you get to this phase of the season is uh, you want to still, you don't want players to become discouraged. Uh, I think you're looking for that because it, once a player becomes discouraged, uh, it can impact performance. And th the other side of that is that the, you know, the, the staff has to work even harder, to, I think, to keep everyone engaged and to, to head that off if, if that is potentially going to be an issue for players. You know, and these are winnable games. The, the opponents uh, are, are beatable opponents in this final four games of the season. But when you, uh, the motivation for the players, uh, two games out with four games to play, yeah, they're not mathematically eliminated. But what is the motivation for the players in going, these final four games? Yeah, that, that's always a key because what, what's at stake when there's really nothing at stake competitively? And there's still a lot. You have reputations. Uh, both of the coaches and the players. Uh, you have job security for coaches and players. Uh, you have pride, just professional pride of how you finish it out. And from the coaching standpoint, uh, I think you want to uh, see some concrete examples that the, the principles and schemes that you put in place have taken root. And you haven't seen any of that yet to the standpoint that anyone in this organization wants to see it. Uh, players are coaches. So I think those are things uh, to look for in these final four games. You know, and, and specifically Andy Dalton. I mean, uh, the last four games, he he can prove to other NFL teams that he can still be a starter in this league. Sure. And uh, I, I thought he played pretty well against Baltimore. Uh, was putting a tough bind because defensively the issues they had. But, you know, when, when Andy signed here, it was with the belief or, or his, his goal was to to – come here, back up Dak for a year, uh, kind of step back, take a breath, and then resume his career as a starter at some point. So he's playing for a he's playing for the possibility of doing that going into next season. And the Cowboys are also going to look at this too and go, it, you know, is this an arrangement they want going forward? Uh, does it make sense for Andy Dalton to stay here as the backup going into uh, next season? Or, or do they want to go in a different direction? So these are the sort of uh, there, there's no animosity here in these, but these are the sort of situations that play out over the course of the final month of the season, even though you're not really viable as far as getting for uh, or competing for a playoff spot. All right, David Moore, 
who never is mathematically eliminated and is always motivated to give his very best effort each and every week here on the Mike McCarthy Show. We appreciate it, David. And up next, Thank you. Andy Dalton does return to Cincinnati. How special a weekend is this for him? This segment was brought to you by the Dallas Morning News. Nobody does sports like Sports Day. Your home for complete Dallas Cowboys coverage. It's the Cowboys and the Cincinnati Bengals, a noon kickoff on Sunday in Cincinnati as we welcome you back here to the Mike McCarthy Show powered by Reliant Energy. Going back to Cincinnati, that would be what Andy Dalton, the Cowboys starting quarterback, is doing this week. It is, after all, his home away from home and Rob Phillips has more. Texas has always been home for Andy Dalton and now the Dallas Cowboys are his home too. But for nine years, Dalton made his NFL residence in Cincinnati. Sunday, the Cowboys faced the Bengals franchise that drafted Dalton in the second round back in 2011, the franchise where he ranks first in career touchdown passes. Here in Dallas, the chances of a playoff berth are slipping this December. But Dalton has been a bright spot, filling in for injured captain Dak Prescott the last few weeks. He had a season-high 285 passing yards in Tuesday's loss to the Ravens, the passing game seems to be in better rhythm since Dalton returned from a challenging stretch. First a concussion, then a bout with COVID-19 in mid-November. The passing game, we spread it around a lot. We got a lot of different guys' catches, and uh, that's the good thing about this, this offense and this, this team and uh, just our skill position. You can spread it around to a bunch of different guys, get, get uh, everybody involved. So you know, we got to find a way to convert first downs in those situations, keep drives alive, and, and get down there and score touchdowns. From 2011 through 2019, Dalton made three Pro Bowls with the Bengals and led them to five playoff trips. He probably never imagined he'd play this much. Prescott had never missed an entire series, much less an entire game, prior to this year. But Dak's season-ending ankle injury has put Dalton back in the role he had in Cincinnati all those years, leading an NFL huddle. Uh, I, I knew this one was on the schedule, and so, um, yeah, I get to go back to a place that I played for a long time. So I'm, I'm excited about this opportunity. It'll be different, you know, being on the other side of the field, different locker room, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, it's just because I spent so much time there and, and everything. So. Uh, you know, it's uh, like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to getting back to, to play in Cincinnati. One key for Andy Dalton and the Cowboys to get back on track, explosive plays. They only had one pass play over 20 yards against the Ravens this past Tuesday, and it came late in the game against Baltimore. That will be key against a Bengals defense that has kept their last three opponents under 20 points. For DallasCowboys.com, I'm Rob Phillips. All right, thanks, Rob. Andy Dalton hoping for a happy homecoming in Cincinnati on Sunday. And up next here on the Mike McCarthy Show, the coach rejoins us, and we take a look at these offensive weapons that the Bengals have. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones now rejoined by Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy inside Ford Center as the Cowboys take on the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, let's go back to Tuesday night. And, uh, you know, the run defense is something that seemed to get shored up a little bit a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what is it that uh, you're hoping that the team took out of that Baltimore game that they could improve on as far as being able to stop the run? Well, I, I think the biggest thing, I mean, it, there, was a, there was a different scheme, you know, that, that we've seen with, the, with all the option and so forth. And, you know, we didn't trigger as, as consistently and, and quickly as, as we'd have liked. And I think it definitely affected how we were finishing uh, throughout the course of the game. So we need to be better. Uh, that was clearly not the type of performance that we were looking for. You know, and I, I think as, it, as the game um, wore on, you know, it definitely affected our tackling too. We didn't. We didn't tackle very well at all. So, um, you know, this this offense in Cincinnati is going to be probably very similar to the to the one our defense practices against. You know, going back to training camp, so it'll be some definitely some carryover there, uh, and it's a, it's a clearly a different challenge for our defense. Hey, Zach Taylor, the head coach of the Bengals, in his uh, second year. Of course, the Bengals lost their first round draft pick Joe Burrow to injury a couple of weeks ago. Brandon Allen has started the last couple of games. What do you expect out of the Cincinnati offense? 
Well, I mean, it, it's definitely you know something that has you know starts with you know the shift, the motion, the outside zone, and, and the movements and th those types of things that come off of that. I mean, they're gonna challenge your eye discipline, and you know that, that, that's something that um, you know our, our guys this far you know down the road we should we should feel pretty comfortable with. And, you know, it's something that you know we've been able to compete against um, you know week in and week out with our defense going against our offense. And uh, they've got those big wide receivers, too. Of course, A.J. Green, a seven-time Pro Bowler. He's 6'4". And the rookie, T. Higgins, out of uh, Clemson, second-round draft pick, has uh, really played well as a rookie, hasn't he? Oh, definitely. No, they, I mean, you know, that's, that's definitely a focal point for us. Uh, Higgins is someone, obviously, we, we spent a lot of time you know, with the evaluation and the draft, and you know, def definitely liked him coming out. So uh, two excellent weapons. I want to ask you uh, in particular about a guy uh, that I'm intrigued by uh, in it now in his third year for you, defensive end Dorrance Armstrong. He was a fourth round draft pick out of Kansas in uh, 2018, and he's uh, getting more playing time this season, and he's showing up. He's filling up a stat sheet here uh, here lately. Uh, I, I think people need to understand about Dorrance is that he was just 20 years old when he came out of, out of Kansas, and you can really see, see him growing as an NFL player, isn't he? Oh, definitely, and, he, and he's definitely – Someone that has you know, the opportunity to, to make contribution not only on special teams but you know, really plays two two different positions uh, for us on defense. You know, ability to play the open side end in the rush and the sub packages, but also to play the base, the Sam linebacker in our base defense. So he's uh, he's done a great job with his opportunities. Still young, as you've already stated, and I think he's really had some fine performances. And and you know, I, I really love the the way he goes about it on special teams too. So um, the DA has been a, a real a real gem for us and you know you could see him you know potentially get some more playing time down the stretch uh, you didn't have Donovan Wilson last week and Darian Thompson fills in for him and he, he got an interception in the game how, how valuable is it to have a, a veteran guy like that who can come in and, and do what Darian Thompson does uh, definitely Darian is, is excellent uh, you, you definitely love it you know not only what he does with his opportunities I mean special teams is he's been outstanding he's been excellent for us at the dime linebacker and you know, in the interception there in the Baltimore really got us, got us going, got us started, um, you know, particularly on offense in the game. So I love the way this guy plays. All right, we continue with more of the Mike McCarthy Show in just a moment. Final couple of minutes of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy. And let's uh, spend the last couple of minutes talking about uh, special teams a little bit, uh, Mike. As you know, the kickoff returns in this league have been uh, downplayed here uh, lately due to the rules and, and, and uh, so forth. But uh, you're facing a, a kickoff returner for the Bengals this week, one of the rarities this year. He's, he's one of only two, I think, that's taken it to the house, and that is uh, Brandon Wilson, a guy who uh, has explosive abil ability out of the University of Houston. How big will it be containing him on Sunday? I mean, it's a huge challenge, really. The, these, these last two weeks are two of the better uh, special teams units that we'll see all season, Baltimore and Cincinnati. And you can, you can definitely see, the, you know, the return that I'm sure you're going to talk about against the Giants. So, I mean, these guys uh, have been good on special teams for a long time. Um, they, you know, they're well established. You know, they're young linebackers uh, they've acquired out of the draft that have that all been contributing. So, this is a huge challenge for John Foss on the special teams this week. Uh, how do you view uh, your coverage units uh, this year? Uh, uh, who stood out for you as far as your special teams coverage units? Well, I'll I tell you, you know, I, I think just, you know, CJ is the first one that always jumps off at you, you know, but, you know, I think Joe Thomas has really come on here of late. Uh, but, you know, I think the consistency and the efficiency of the whole group is what you're looking for. If, uh, you know, if I was going to rank, you know, the offense, defense, and special teams, clearly our special teams has been our most consistent unit on our football team this season. And uh, Tony Pollard almost got one, took it to the house last week. He's got a couple now this season, over uh, over 60 yards. Maybe this will be the Sunday he takes it all the way. Uh, that'd be great. This is going to be a battle. Uh, this this is definitely, you know, it, it'll be outside. So hopefully we'll get some we'll get some opportunities in the return game. And um, you know, TP's been excellent for us. All right, Mike McCarthy, we appreciate it. We appreciate all of you joining us for the Mike McCarthy Show, and we will see you again next week. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, was brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Built for Texas, built for you. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys.
Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full access to coaches' film and game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. Subscribe at DallasCowboys.com slash Game Pass.